And we're tracking a neighborhood crime alert on the south side. JSO needs your help identifying a man suspected of committing armed robbery and sexual battery. In 30 minutes, in the past 30 minutes, that is, JSO tweeted out this sketch of the man that they're looking for. He's seen in that surveillance photo riding a scooter. News for Jackson reporter Eric Avignier joins us from Beach Boulevard and St. John's Bluff Road. And you spoke with people who noticed police in the area today. Yes, I did. And just as John said, within the past 30 minutes, uh, Jacksonville police uh, released that composite sketch of a man they believe to be armed and dangerous. Now, we are standing in a parking lot that is right near the intersection here of Beach Boulevard and St. John's Bluff Road. Now, it was in this parking lot where, according to several people that live in that hotel, just beyond that uh, tree line there, there was a good presence of uh, police officers uh, right where I am standing. And at the time, those people that saw saw those police officers had no idea why they were over here canvassing the area. Jacksonville police say around noon Friday, officers were called to an area near the intersection of Beach Boulevard and St. John's Bluff Road to investigate an armed robbery and sexual battery believed to have been committed by a person seen in this surveillance photo. The specific location as to where the robbery and battery took place was not disclosed by police, but people living in a nearby hotel say there was a heavy police presence in this bank parking lot. They also say a police helicopter had been circling the area numerous times. Investigators say the burglar was armed with a handgun and last seen leaving the area in a black scooter with orange rims, as seen in this surveillance photo. The robber is described by police as a 5'9 man who at the time of the crime was wearing a black t-shirt and royal blue shorts. Police are asking people to be on the lookout for this man, but are being told to not approach him because he is considered armed and dangerous. If you see him, simply call 911. That's it. Now, police are also reminding people to be vigilant about locking their homes and car doors and paying attention to their surroundings. Reporting live from the South Side, Eric Avignier, Channel 4, The Local Station.